Yo, what's up everybody? It's Trevor and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today, we are going to be talking about what exactly I'm going to be doing on the launch of Rise of Iron. Yes, I will be up and playing the game as soon as it comes out, as long, <laughs> along with many other uh, pl players of the game itself. But for me anyways, I'm going to be up and I'm going to be streaming the entire launch on Twitch. Uh, so if you guys want to go out and follow my channel, it, you can go to www.twitch.tv slash donerightgaming. And you guys should be able to follow, find my channel and follow it if you guys like to. I will, it'll be live on Tuesday, um, the 20th of September with Rise of Iron. Now, for you guys that don't know, Rise of Iron will not be launching at midnight. Uh, they will flip the switch so that all Rise of Iron will be activated on reset. So when the game resets, that's when it'll be activated for me. The reset time is 3 in the morning, so I will be up 3 in the morning getting ready to play Rise of Iron. Um, the stream itself will probably go live about 15 minutes before the launch, probably play a few games get a few things done and then of course rise of iron for i don't know how long um until i don't know my internet gives out or what but uh, i'll be trying to play it as much as i possibly can on day one i'll be starting starting off with my hunter just so i can get my hunter out of the way i'm going to be maining a titan when uh, the wrath of machines raid launches that following friday so i'm going to go through with my hunter then probably go through with my warlock and then hit it hard with my uh, titan and hopefully get it as high light as possible the idea of running my other two characters is just to get gear uh so that when i do get on my titan my titan's not at 335 i should have my titan up higher just by um, collecting gear off of the other two characters so hopefully I'll have an easier time with my Titan to get it up to max light I hopefully it'll work out the way I think it will um, the recently with the update 2.4.0 uh, exotic engrams are now dropping possibly have the chance to drop at a higher light so I don't know if this is a glitch or Bungie's intention but it gets me now the question because before I was dead on set that exotic engrams previous to Rise of Iron launch will be useless except for to gain XP in the Crypt Arc. Um, part of me thinks now that you might be able to actually decrypt uh, exotic engrams and have them actually come in at a higher light level. Uh, part of me really hopes that's not the case uh, because it'll make it really easy for anybody that's going to grind like myself. For the week, we could probably hit, not max light level, but way up there if we've been prepping for a while. Uh, definitely going to be able to hit that probably higher. Part of me thinks that if that is so, it's only going to be exotic engrams that launch after uh, the patch itself. So only a few of them out of my what how many I have. So who knows what exactly is going to happen with the exotic engrams. But anyways, that's this little tidbit of what I'm wondering but anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully, I will see you out there on the September 20th. <laughs> Not You don't have to be out there at re launch, but maybe stop by and say hi. Until next time, guys, uh, my name is Trevor, and I will see you in another video. Peace, and have a fantastic day.